What's up guys, Gary with Self Taught Dev. Today we are doing another LinkedIn assessment. We're gonna do JSON and see what kind of questions LinkedIn came up with for this. So we're talking about queries, limitations and usage, syntax rules, data types and comparison. I don't have, I feel like I have experienced the JSON, but based off of my limited experience with JSON, I don't feel like there's that many tough questions you can come up with for it. So I'm interested to see interested to see what LinkedIn has. So might fail this, really high chance I might fail this. So this is for educational purposes only. You're probably gonna get different questions when you try and take this assessment. And I think those are the only disclaimers I need. So let's do it. What is accessibility settings? Oh, I don't need those. All right, so which code is valid JSON? Which code is a valid JSON equivalent of the key value pair shown that also preserves the data type? All right, so you have to use double quotes in JSON, so there's that, um, or like quotation marks, I guess. I don't know what this slash stuff is. Is that, is that a thing? So that is, we're gonna, that's like, is that an int? Is that an int data type? Let's, let's first, we're gonna check out um, JSON data types. All right, so it looks like it's just the red, like the standard stuff, right? Like arrays, objects, numbers, strings. So if it's a number, you don't put quotes around it? Interesting, all right. Um, those have double quotes around it. I don't think you need these, so we're gonna go with A. Boom, all right, next question. Which is a valid JSON equivalent of the data shown? Okay, so I feel like I need this to be way bigger because I can't compare this question with, I mean, yeah, I can't compare the question with this answer down here. Uh, all right, so we got photo and then width, height, and then in photo we have a binaries object with the URL and a thumbnail, and then outside of that we have animated and tags. So let's, I feel like we're probably gonna get this one wrong because I, I just feel like I got, I got a bad feeling about it. All right, so that's, okay, so they're just changing where the parentheses are pretty much, or the quotation marks, it looks like. B is looking pretty good so far, right? So we've got, no quotes around those. We got binaries. The URL has the single quotes around it. The thumbnail has the single quotes around it. The animation has a Boolean false or animated has Boolean false. And then tags is an array of numbers. And then there's a comma after that. So this is the same because you don't really need a comma after that one because it's the last element in that array. And plus there's 10 seconds left. So we're going to go with that. Oh, I didn't check the first, I didn't check the keys to make sure there were double quotes around all the keys. All right, by convention, what name is used for the first key in a JSON schema? Interesting, all right, let's find out. Um, by convention, what, I have such a bad short-term memory, holy crap. By convention, what name is used, okay, for the first key in a JSON schema? All right, getting started with JSON, See, this does not have any of those answers. I don't need W3Schools anymore. Okay, there we go, JSON schema. Starting the JSON schema, the blank keyword states that this schema is written according to the specific, specific, uh, specific draft of the standard and used for a variety of reasons, primarily version control. Okay, so we'll start with the four properties called keywords. How much time do we have left? 20 seconds? I'm, I'm going, I'm gonna go with schema because that's what it says right here. That's what's first here. So we're gonna go with A and hopefully that's right. By the way, if I get any of these wrong, I wanna learn stuff. So let me know in the comments below if any of these answers are wrong, which I'm sure there's gonna be a lot that are wrong. So anyway, what data type is represented by the value of the key pair shown below? Um, it is a Boolean because true false, True, false are booleans. Numbers are like one, two, three, four, five. Obviously those are numbers. Um, an object is, it has the curly braces around it. And then a string has double quotes. So like, hey, with double quotes around it, that's a string or hey, I mean, um, or like five with double quotes around it. Even though it's a number, it's got double quotes around it. So it's a string. All right, so next one here. What, which code uses the correct JSON syntax to encode the key value pair shown? All right, so you need double quotes around the key. Do you? Do you not need double quotes around the key? This has double quotes around the keys, so I'm gonna assume that that is required. So it's A or B, and then that's a number, right? So where is a number used on this page? Because I need to see if there's zero. Okay, so numbers don't have to have double quotes around it, so we're gonna go with B. 
All right, which value is supported in the JSON specification? Infinity, not a number, null or undefined. Which value is supported in the JSON specification? Are all three of these bottom ones not supported? That's interesting. Let's see, in a in. All right, that's not on here. Infinity, all right, that's not on there either. Uh, what was the other one? Null, null is not on here. Is this the JSON specification? Is undefined in here? None of those are in there. So, which value is supported by the JSON specification? Google knows the questions that it's asking on this screen. I wonder if it like looks at the text inside the HTML tags or if that's just people Googling the same question. Anyway, there are five basic values supported by JSON. String, number, okay, those are just like the types supported. Null is supported, that's the one. Type null. And then how much time we have left? 21 seconds. So we can do infin, see no infinity, in a n, no not a number. And then the last one was undefined. So undefined, it's not on there. So it is null. All right, boom. Which create, wait, which element is added to the DOM to create a JSON P request? What is a JSON P request? A JSON P request. Um, JSON with padding is a JavaScript technique for requesting data by loading a script tag. So script, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Is a JSON tag a real thing? I don't think it's a real thing. All right, what character do you specify before a JSON control character when you want to use that control character as a literal part of a string? This, the back, wait, is the backslash or the forward slash? I think it's, so it's asking about the escape character, right? Which character do you specify before a control character? What is a control character? The following characters are reserved in JSON and must be escaped. Okay, so yeah, I think it's asking about the escape characters. So backslash, that always makes me think of Super Smash Bros. There's that one character and he's always like backslash. Anyway, uh, which JSON method converts a JavaScript value to JSON? JSON.parse would convert it that wouldn't, no, I don't think that, wait. Yes, I think that's it. Let's Google that real quick. Dot parse. Method parses a JSON string constructing a JavaScript value or object described by the string. All right, so that constructs a JavaScript value, so that's that's not it. So let's do dot stringify. Method converts a JavaScript object or value to a JSON string. All right, that's what I meant to, that's what I was really talking about. I was just testing you guys to see if you knew the right answers. So it's B. All right, number 10. Which key name is used to specify properties that must be included for JSON to be valid? Wait, what? Which key name is used to specify properties that must be included for JSON to be valid? Required, but we're gonna Google that too. Um, which key name is used, ah, why can't I not remember this? Which key name is used to specify properties? Oh, yeah, what up, Google? Fucking awesome, I love you, Google. Just don't spy on me. All right, JSON objects are written with key value pairs. Keys must be strings and values must be valid JSON data, data types. Uh, that doesn't answer my question. Did I, and is this the right question that must be included for JSON to be, that's not right. Yeah, that is right. Let's look in here. All right, by leaving out properties, wait, by default, leaving out properties is valid. See required properties, all right? Required properties, how much time do you left? 17 seconds, crap. Um, so it's, I'm gonna go with required because that's what's showing up a lot on that page. So, which data type is not part of the JSON standard? Number, date, date. It's date. All right, how do you store several paragraphs of text as a string in JSON? Remove all white space, escape all white space, except escape paragraphs, escape line breaks. I think you just remove all the white space, right? Wait, does that count like spaces in between? That's not it. Um, escape all white space except space characters. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, there we go. Um, escape paragraphs, no. Escape line breaks, several paragraphs. See, I just remember when I'm when I use JSON, the paragraphs are usually just like long single lines of text. So, 
how to store several paragraphs. This is a question for you guys. Throw the right answer down in the comments below or whatever you think the right answer is with your reasoning. Boom. All right, we're going with this one, B. Which JavaScript method converts JSON to a JavaScript value? Hey, we learned that on the last one, json.parse, because we, we Googled that already, so, right? Or we gotta make sure. Which JavaScript method converts JSON to JavaScript? Yes, okay, it's that one. All right, transferring JSON information from client to server and back again often includes HTTP requests. Match each method with the best choice describing its use. I don't feel like this is JSON. I feel like this is HTTP, but we're gonna do it anyway. So post is going to, actually we're gonna go, so get, get, get stuff from the server, obviously. So right, so which number is get? Sends data, sends data, previews what get request response might be. So that's obviously not get. So any of these have get for number three? Nope, can't rule any of those out. Learns the communication channel used by the target source. Requests information from a specified source. Is git number five on all these? No, it's not. All right, so it's either A or D because git is number five on those two. So the next one is delete, which is removes information. Is that six? Okay, so it's A because we have verified that five and six are correct. We don't have to care about the rest of these, but just so we know, post sends data to the server, create or update information, put sends data to a specified server to create or update info without the risk of creating the resource more than once. Cool. Header previews what the blah, blah, blah. All right, yeah, it's A. So there's 10 seconds left, so whatever. Uh, which term is commonly used to refer to Converting JSON, wait, converting data to JSON. Serialization, parsing, unpacking, or deserialization? I think it's serialization or parsing. Wait, maybe not, because if you do json.parse and that converts it from JSON to JavaScript, I don't know. We're gonna Google this one too, just to make sure. So, select the whole thing. There we go. What term is commonly used to refer to the bending of light? No. To refer to the, to converting data to JSON. Serialization. That's what I was gonna go with if I didn't have to Google this. I think I could have passed this on my own without Google's help, but hey, we passed it. So, good job us, high five. All right, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, or if you have any other LinkedIn assessments that you would like me to attempt. Can't guarantee I'll pass them. I think I've done most of the ones that I'm pretty sure I'll pass. If you want to come hang out in the Discord and talk tech, the link is in the description below. I review resumes, usually for web developers. Uh, you can send me your resume. My email is in the link below, but it's going to be in a YouTube video. I'll block out your contact info. Just be cool with that. And if you want to connect on LinkedIn, I'll have my LinkedIn in the description too. So we can be BFFs on here and whatnot. And I think that's about it. So I will see you guys next time. Peace. Round one.